Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I'll be doing for my third grader for the 2020-21 school year. I'll be sharing the main part of the curriculum that I'll be using, and then as well as some additional um, add-ons or electives that I'll be using to just give her a little bit extra to learn this year. So whether you have been um, homeschooling for a few years now, or you just started this last year, I uh, hope you can get something out of this and kind of see what we use to fill our school year, the main things that we're using, the really core part of it, as well as the extra things that I think really make it more fun, interesting, and kind of round out our school year. So I hope you enjoy it. The very first thing I have is a schedule. Um, I use the sunlight schedule and you can see it's a pretty big guide here. Um, this is what I use for all of the year we go through. We have um, a spot to check off everything that we do. This really helps me to stay focused, stay on track, make sure I'm paying attention to where we're supposed to be at, how far we are into the year. I love the way that they set this up, but if you don't have sunlight or you're not doing sunlight this year, you could look into uh, having your own like clear schedule. I just found for me personally, it really helps. So sunlight does a core, which is um, you can choose to do the whole thing or you can do it in portions. So we do three things. We do their math, their core, which is the history and language arts together, and then their science. These all go really well together. They work well together. And it just, it helps me to have it all taken care of for me. I just order it in one big package. So inside of kind of like what the core of the program is, I'll be showing you what I ordered and what we'll be going through. The program that I'm using for math is the Singapore math. I've been using this since my first child was in kindergarten. It's worked really well. It's also a little fast paced if you want your kids or they are um, excelling in math and you wanna help them move ahead a little bit. This is a really good program, so I highly recommend. Um, my daughter will also be learning cursive this year, which I'm really excited about. She's enjoying it. She's already started because even though it was for third grade, she was just too excited and she had to get into it right away. So I'm gonna be showing you next some of the books that um, we'll be reading together. Some of the history books we'll be using are this one, The Landmark of American History. This one is a little bit more textbook style where it's got a lot of facts, a lot of um, real pictures. It's really good, it's really well done, and it's a little bit just, you know, straight for the facts. So a little bit less like some of the other stories that are more historical fiction, where they're kind of, you know, putting a character into you know, a pretend character into the storyline of an actual historic event. So this will be using this book, Landmark into American History. We'll be doing the Lewis and Clark Expedition. If you haven't read this book before, it's really good. It makes you feel like you're right there on the trail with Lewis and Clark. And my son and I really enjoyed this book. So definitely recommend this one. And I'll be doing The Light and the Glory and From Sea to Shining Sea. I read these books as a child. I also read them as a high schooler. They're really good and they definitely are, um, these are the ones for younger readers because the big ones are a little bit hefty <laughs> to try to get through at this age, this grade. So one of the other things that I'm really excited for this year is that my kids are going to be learning about Native Americans. And I'm especially excited because my kids have a little Native American in them. And so they get to learn a little bit more about their own heritage, which is really special. It's always exciting to learn a little bit more about your own background. So this year we'll be doing um, Native American history, which is, um, we'll be using this North American Indians. And then the very first Americans. This is definitely like a thin book that you could, your, a child could read on their own, but we read it together because it's just a good story to read at the same time together. And then lastly, A Tree in the Trail. This book was one of my favorites from this core. As I said, I've already done this core with my older son. I'm going through it again and I'm actually really, really excited when I saw that it was, you know, core D next and early American history. I got super stoked to do it with my daughter. So we'll be reading A Tree in the Trail and I'm just really excited to go through this one with her. So my daughter is eight years old and she really only started being able to read well this last year, this last six months even I would say. 
but she's now reading so fast and so well and I'm really excited because she's going to be going through a lot of her own bigger, thicker chapter books. And I did not read these myself because these are for kids to read on their own. However, my son loves to read and devoured these books and came and told me all about them. He was super excited. And then I suspect that my daughter is gonna to wanna to sit there and read them to me out loud. She likes to share those stories with me, even the books that she's reading right now. She likes to sit next to me and read them out loud to me. And so I think that a lot of these will be doing kind of together, even though she'll be reading them, not me, a little bit reverse of the read alouds. So some of the ones that we'll be doing is um, Pedro's Journal. This was a fun book, my son loved it. Um, it's about a little boy who is on the boat with Christopher Columbus and again, it's historical fiction, but it was just really interesting, it was fun for him. Um, a Lion to Guard Us, The Cabin Faced West, Sarah Plain and Tall, that's a classic. And then Pocahontas and the Strangers. And um, I did hear a lot about this book and it was also a favorite. So I'm excited because I feel like my daughter will really enjoy it even more because she gets to um, kind of feel like she gets to experience the story of Pocahontas a little bit more, which she's a fan of all the Disney princesses. So that'll be fun for her. So the other things that we're gonna be reading this year, this is not all of the books. I'm just kind of giving you guys the highlights of the ones that I'm most excited for this year. One of my favorite books of all the books we've read as a family or um, to my son in particular, this one, Walk the World's Rim, has been one of the top favorites. We both were really moved by this story. I think I cried probably the last three chapters straight, just cried, cried, cried. It was just very moving. And um, this was a really, really good book. So I definitely recommend this. I'm so excited because it's the first book on the list we get to read this next year. The Sign of the Beaver. This is a classic. Probably a lot of you guys have read this. It's such a good book, such a fun story. Highly recommend this one. The Witch of Blackbird Pond. Probably one of my favorite books of all time. I've had this book since I was a child. My grandma gave it to me when I was 10 for my 10th birthday. Um, so I loved it then. I still love it. Probably will not even end up back in our school books. It will just be on the bookshelf because I want to have a personal copy out for everyone to read. But I'm really excited for this book this year. Johnny Tremaine. Um, again, I read this book as a child, but it was even more fun reading it to my kids. And I'm excited to read it to them again this year. So if you haven't read Johnny Tremaine, it's a really good book. And I know there's a couple of movies too if you like to watch the um, condensed version. Um, so yeah, that's a good one. Secret of the Sealed Room. This is totally historical fiction, but it was so interesting. It was really fun. It was like just a pretend, um, you know, story of Benjamin Franklin as a child, but it, I don't know. It was actually really interesting. We really enjoyed this book, my son and I, and it kept us guessing. It was really a um, page turner. <laughs> so definitely recommend this one as well. And Calico Bush. I wasn't sure how I would feel about this book when I first started it, but I mean, about, you know, two thirds of the way through, it started to get really good. And by the end, it was just such a good story. I totally recommend this book too. We're going to be reading this. I can't wait. I'm really excited to share this one with my daughter. She was a little young the last time that we went through this course. So she doesn't remember these books and I'm really excited for her to get to experience them all for the first time for her. So for science this year, I'm really excited. I went through all this a few years back, but again, it's all new to her and she already loves animals, loves everything about animals. So a lot of the science we'll be doing is animals. She's excited for that. The very first book we're gonna be going through is the biology level one. Um, this has so many good teaching in it. I loved this book. They've got lots of really good graphics that help, I think, solidify what you're being taught in the, um, in the book because it can be hard for little kids to remember all those little things. There's also some really awesome hands-on tools that um, I personally have liked. Um, there's a an Etsy shop I totally recommend. It's called Mirus Toys, M-I-R-U-S Toys. And they've got a lot of hands-on tools. They have um, diagrams, like wooden diagrams for plant cells and animal cells. 
and I just think it makes it way more interesting, also interactive, if your kids like to like touch and feel and put the pieces together, that would be a good way to do it. Another way would be to um, create your own plant cells with felt and cut out all the shapes and the names and have them kind of just set them on there. If you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, that would be a really good way to do it. So some of the other awesome books that are incorporated this year into our science curriculum are Usborne books. If you are not familiar with Usborne, they are amazing. They have a huge library of books and a lot of our science books comes from Usborne. I buy them just for fun, just for the kids to look at. They've got great science experiment books as well. These are three that are going to be in this year's program. We've got just, you know, general science, science encyclopedia, um, the first encyclopedia of seas and oceans. These are a huge hit. You can't go wrong with them. And then the mysteries and marvels of nature, another huge hit in my family. We've got so many good pictures and um, stories for the kids really, when you can see so many cool creatures. So definitely recommend these. I'm excited to go through them again. And lastly in our science, we also have TOPS, which teaches agriculture, which I personally am so excited about. We'll be doing a garden this year. So a lot of these are designed to be indoors, like in a classroom setting. However, we'll be doing a lot of them outside because I'm going to be setting up a garden, potentially a greenhouse. You know, we're going to be trying out a lot of these experiments inside but also outside so i'm really excited for these kind of guides into growing and um we see how that goes so lastly we've got kind of like the add-ons the electives you know just like the extra stuff that i'll be doing this year and this isn't even all of it because i tend to get caught up and i want to get even more things because i love teaching i love showing the kids new things. So the other thing we're gonna be doing are the timeline book, which I'm really excited about. My kids, the older two are sharing and then the younger two are sharing and they can go through and add in all of their timeline photos. I'm super excited about this. Um, we're gonna probably be getting some more of these books so everyone can have their own because I just think it helps them to be able to um, put stickers or dates into the things that they're studying that week or that day. Super fun, and there's coloring that goes into it as well, and um, my daughter is a huge fan of coloring. The other thing we're gonna be doing is Spelling You See third grade. This one, I can't tell you how much I love Spelling You See. A lot of the other programs we've used just have not worked for my kids learning, and I know every kid is different, so some of those other programs might work well for other kids, but for my kids, Spelling You See has been the thing you're able to spell with tiles and then you spell on paper and something about that actually physically moving those little lettered tiles into place has really solidified spelling for my children so if you are looking for a new spelling program or the one you have that isn't working or you just want to try it out i highly recommend spelling you see even my son when we switched requested we go back and <laughs> do spelling you see the other thing that we're going to be doing as kind of just like additional school is Grammar Ace. I had not purchased this until this last school year when I saw that I felt like my son needed a little bit extra grammar help. And my daughter will actually be doing the same program that he did for sixth grade in her third grade because they start Grammar Ace at third grade and you just start at the very beginning. So he moved through it quickly. She'll move through it a little bit slower just because she's a little younger, but this is a really good program. I definitely recommend it. It comes with like a kid's workbook and an instruction manual. So definitely recommend Grammar Ace. We've loved it. And Wordly Wise, if you don't have Wordly Wise, these are really fun vocabulary books. We love them. We go through them quickly. And lastly, we've got the lap book. And I'm really excited for my daughter to go through this with me. We've never had a lap book before because they were not around when my son was going through his third grade core D intro into American history, these didn't exist. So I'm really excited because this will be the first time I'm doing it with um, my child and she's really excited for anything that's hands-on. As I've said in the past, I think hands-on is the way to go because it really helps teach the children, helps solidify whatever it is that they're learning. So I definitely recommend. Oop, one last thing I have to recommend is coloring books. If your children like to color, I am ordering my daughter all the history and coloring books that Sunlight recommends 
and I'll probably put a link below so that you guys can see as well, but they have great history books for early American history and a lot of other ones too, world history. We'll be ordering the early American history so that she can color those while I'm reading to her. I think it makes it more fun to see the different costumes they're wearing, um, the different jobs that they had, all those things. It just makes learning a little bit more fun. So um, I hope you liked today's video. Let me know if you have questions. Also, let me know if there's books that you love that are classics to you or your family that you think everybody should read because I'm always on the hunt for a new good book. So pop a link below or just tell me the title and I'll be sure to check it out. Okay, see you guys on the next video.